to produce an acrylic spiral of one convolution having the greatest and shortest radii being 108 mm and 27 mm respectively so the very first thing i'm going to do is to produce my horizontal line in this manner all right thin yeah a faint horizontal line after that i'm going to produce a vertical line right on that horizontal line in this manner all right so that is settled what is the next procedure so our longest radii okay the longest radius here is radius what 108 radius 108 so i'm going to pick my compass and divide 108 by 2. why am i dividing it by 2. i am halving or reducing the ratio yeah of the dimension so i'm going to draw this particular drawing on the scale of one ratio two that is i'm going to have the dimension there therefore half of 108 is what that is going to be 54 which is this 54 okay so with mark 54 on my ruler from the midpoint of this circle okay i produce this circle from the midpoint of that line all right what is the next procedure the next procedure is to divide this circle into 12 equal halves all right all right so to divide a circle into 12 equal halves kindly check the link under the description below to watch how to divide a circle into 12 equal halves thank you all right so after dividing my circle into 12 equal halves the next procedure is this i'm going to do the numbering so this is my mark 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 then 0 over 12 all right so we are told that our shortest radius there is radius of what radius of 27 and 27 divided by 2 that's going to be what 13.5 all right so with radius 13.5 from the center of the circle i strike my arc okay so i'm going to call this mark here mark what mark a and this end point here mark what mark b all right so since it we are developing this para for one convolution what is the next procedure the next procedure is to divide the distance between mark a and b right here into 12 equal halves to divide it into 12 equal halves all right so to divide a given line into a number of equal parts kindly watch the link of the video under the description below okay so having divided the space between a to b into 12 equal halves the next procedure is this from the center of my circle to mark one all right this is the point for mark one right here so to mark one i would i draw my arc in this manner wherever it touches the diagonal of one a, i asterisk it i name it my what my p1 that is my point one then i extend my compass to mark two right here okay i draw my arc wherever it touches the diagonal of mark two I asterisk i denote it what with p2 from the center of my circle i extend my compass towards mark theory right here then i what i draw my arc wherever it touches the line of mark theory i asterisk i denote it with what with p3 from the center of my circle to mark four which is right here okay yeah i draw wherever it touches the diagonal of four i asterisk i name it p4 from the center of my circle to mark of five right here all right then i want i draw till it touches the diagonal of five i name it what p5 center of my circle to mark six right here all right so i draw wherever it touches of six p6 center of my circle with radius what seven right there I draw till it touches diagonal of seven p seven center of my circle to mark eight which is the I draw till it touches diagonal for what eight right here denoted it what p eight center of my circle all right to mark of what nine which is this I ensure you don't make a mistake then I draw till it touches the p9 all right center of my circle 
to mark what mark 10 right here then i what i drop till it touches diagonal of 10 naming it p10 center of my circle to mark of what 11 which is right there then i what i drop till it touches the diagonal and that is where right here that is what p11 and for my 12th that is what right here so what is the next procedure the next procedure is to pick my french curve starting from mark a which is point zero here then what join the points all together i'm going to trace the point out with my french curve or flexible curve okay so that is the trace of the archimedes spiral of one convolution remember the scale we use here is what is a reduced scale on a scale of what one ratio two that is we divided the dimension into what into two we divided by by two all right so kindly ensure you subscribe to this youtube channel and also refer it to your friends who might be in need of it thank you